Hello, and welcome to Loyola 101, an introduction to Loyola University Chicago. My name is Adam Bowler. I'm one of the senior assistant directors in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions at Loyola, and I'll be presenting today. So I just wanted to introduce myself quickly. Um, a little bit more about myself. I grew up in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and came to Chicago in 2005 to study at Loyola as an undergraduate. So I'm a proud alum of the school, and I'm excited to share more with you about the university that I've come to love. And we've got a lot to get to today, so let's get started. All right, so jumping in, like I said before, Loyola 101, this presentation is going to be a brief introduction to the university. And so this is an overview of a lot of different areas of Loyola covering our Jesuit mission, student community, our campuses and location, as well as our academics. So we're covering a lot in the next 10 minutes, and hopefully this is going to lead you down the road to explore each one of these topics a little bit more in depth, either with the events going on for Open House or engaging with our office in undergraduate admissions, either with our students or our admissions counselors. So the first thing you should know about Loyola is that we're Chicago's Jesuit University, and that really is at the heart of everything we do. Now there is a whole other presentation recorded that goes deeper into the mission and philosophy of Jesuit education. But just to talk about it briefly here, it is founded on this idea of cure personalis or care for the whole person. At Leula, you are gonna be introduced to new questions and perspectives and ideas that are gonna help you better understand yourself, understand others, as well as the world that you live in. That starts with a liberal arts education in the classes for all Loyola students that's connected to the real world in Chicago and beyond that with countless number of study abroad opportunities. Then all of this serves the second big pillar, which is social justice and social change. Loyola is going to constantly ask you to reflect on what it means to be a responsible neighbor in your community, both locally and globally. And then how can you leave college and use your education to serve other people? At just over 12,000 undergraduate students, Loyola is a mid-sized university, and that is a perfect fit for us. We get to feel smaller in the classroom and with academic support services, but we also get the resources and opportunities of a larger institution. And that includes 13 Division I sports and 250 different student organizations on campus for you to get involved with. Loyola's student body is diverse, and that's something we wanna celebrate. We represent all 50 states and 120 countries. About half of our students come from somewhere outside of Illinois. And about 41% of our students identify as being a student in color here. And so there's cultural student organizations on campus. There's a full office of student diversity and multicultural affairs, doing programming and mentorship opportunities, serving young men and women of color, as well as first generation students and LGBTQ students. And as a Catholic institution, you see about half of our students are a little over are Catholic and there's mass health seven days a week in Madonna della Strada, as well as Christian learning communities and retreats. But Layla is really a home for all faiths. And so we have prayer spaces for Hindu and Muslim students. We have a kosher kitchen and really active Hillel for Jewish students. Loyola wants you to explore your own values and beliefs and backgrounds, as well as learn from others. And the best place to see Loyola's vibrant student community is on our Lakeshore campus, Loyola's main campus for undergraduate students, located in Rogers Park, the northernmost neighborhood of the city. So about 25 minutes away from downtown, the Lakeshore campus sits right on Lake Michigan, and this is a much more traditional college campus. This is where your life at Loyola is going to start. We require students to live on campus for the first two years. All of our freshman residence halls are here and all but one of our residence halls in total. The Lakeshore campus is the home to student life. It is where Chicago can feel like it disappears. But then when you want the rest of the city, you walk right across the street from campus and there's the red line, which is the train line that runs throughout the entire city of Chicago, north and south. So you get to find that balance of the city experience as well as the college experience. This is where you're gonna take all of your liberal arts requirements. This is home to the Gentile Arena for our Division I sports and our student union. This is also home to the College of Arts and Science, the Parkinson's School of Health Science, the Public Health, 
the Neha School of Nursing, and the School of Environmental Sustainability. So if you're considering majors in any of those fields, this is where you're gonna take those classes for your major. However, Loyola has another campus in Chicago that offers students a completely different experience in Chicago. So the Water Tower campus is located in downtown, right in the commercial district off Magnificent Mile. And this is running two and a half blocks right along East Pearson. And this is much more of the big city metropolitan experience. And so the Water Tower campus is home to the Quinlan School of Business, the School of Communication, School of Education, School of Social Work, as well as our law school and other graduate programs. And the, uh, the benefit of this campus really is its location. Because you're only a few stops away from one of the largest business districts and media markets in the United States, Students have the opportunity to do internships during the school year alongside of their classes because of their location. We also get to invite faculty to teach directly from their experience. So working professionals coming in and teaching classes and then offering a huge network of connections for students to find that professional development. The Water Tower campus is a full service campus and there's actually a residence hall down there where students can live sophomore through senior year. Now going between the two campuses, we have a shuttle bus just for Loyola students that runs Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to midnight every 20 minutes. So back and forth, it only takes about 20, 25 minutes as commute time. And these two campuses are linked together. Lakeshore and Water Tower aren't two separated student experiences. They're all part of the same student experience and the same student life. So you're still going to feel unified as one Loyola as a whole. And when I think about my time at Loyola as a student, I don't think it's a stretch to say that I learned as much from the city as I did from the classes. And when you say yes to Loyola, that is saying yes to a Chicago experience. Every student at Loyola has unlimited access to the buses and trains, the Chicago Public Transit, and this is a ticket anywhere you could want to go in the city. And right away in freshman year, in the first few weeks, there's going to be programming where you have a chance to meet other incoming students, but also then explore the city, go to a sporting event, go to a theater production, and we'll help you start to learn how to use that public transit system and, and get the most out of the city. That continues on. Loyola is going to continue to give discounted kind of tickets for students so that they can enjoy the city on a student's budget. But there's going to be other ways as well that you'll connect with Chicago. There's going to be class assignments that you send you somewhere else, like maybe going to the Art Institute where you have free admissions as a Loyola student, or you may do service and volunteering in our own backyard in Rogers Park. Um, not to mention countless number of professional development and internship opportunities. So really, the city is part of that Loyola experience and we want you to embrace it and make the most from it. But coming back to campus and focusing on academics, like I said before, Loyola is a liberal arts education. And so every student at Loyola, regardless of their major, is going to take a little bit of everything before they graduate in the form of the core curriculum. And so that's there to help develop critical thinking skills. And if you know what you want to study or even leaning towards something, you can start in your major right away in freshman year. But one of the other really great benefits of that core curriculum and liberal arts philosophy is the flexibility to change your mind that that core gives you a little extra breathing room to figure out what you are interested in or maybe find out what you're not interested in studying and learn those things, especially in subject areas you maybe didn't try in high school. And then also the other thing that really can provide students guidance is your faculty. And two numbers on this that I wanna focus on is that average class size of 26 students, you're gonna be in a class where you have the opportunity to get to know your professor, where you're gonna be able to say hi to them as you walk across campus. Um, but then that number 49th in the country for undergraduate instruction, that's more about the culture of what you're gonna find when you step into office hours is someone who really wants to collaborate with you and is looking to help guide you. And uh, so many students that I talk with, uh, they find their internships or they find their research because of office hours, because you know they had the chance to build that mentorship with a professor who is really looking to help them grow as a student too. And then uh, lastly is that international focus and global awareness. One of three students at Leola is gonna study abroad by the time you graduate. If this is something that you're coming to college looking for, we're gonna help you find it. Uh, Leola has 150 different study abroad options across 70 different countries. Um, but then we have two uh, flagship programs in Rome, Italy and in Ho Chi Minh City of Vietnam as well. And so students typically study abroad sophomore through senior year. 
but we just find it so important that students can take advantage of this during this really unique time in their life. All right, and that wraps up the Loyola 101 presentation. This was meant to be a crash course, uh, a great introduction to a broad range of topics about the university, but hopefully you'll seek out a little bit more in-depth information about each one of those topic areas. And so uh, the Open House site has a lot of great resources. This is uh, pre-recorded presentations like this one or live panels that will be going on during those Open House days. Um, and then I definitely encourage you to check out the department fair and that's an opportunity for you to meet virtually with faculty and staff from different academic programs and student services and learn more um, from the experts themselves here. And last but not least, stay connected with us. Loyola's undergraduate admissions office is here to help you throughout your college search and decision process. And so never he hesitate to reach out either on phone, email, text us. If you want to talk with a current student, you know, I think that that's a great perspective to hear from. You can email our students at lucstudents at luc.edu, or you can text them as well. They're going to be able to share those stories of what it's like to be a student currently at Loyola. So thank you again for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you got more out of it and always let us know if you need anything else. Bye.